Hello and welcome back to Raven's Watch. I'm Arima, and if you haven't seen this game before, it is an action roguelike made by the same people who made Curse of the Dead Gods. And today we're going to be playing with Scarlet. With the new update out, there is more to the map now, and instead of four knights, there are three knights. But it does add up to a total of six between the first and the second area with two bosses. We are going to be playing on Nightmare 4 because I was browsing through the Nightmare settings and Nightmare 5 shows fewer rare talents, which is kind of uninteresting. I also want to manage to make it to the second area and actually show you the second boss. So we're not going to be playing on Nightmare 8. Uh, Nightmare 4, I think, is the highest uh, difficulty that is interesting for solo. I went through most of the Nightmare difficulties with a co-op buddy, so we managed to blow through them very quickly. Basically, we were blowing through one per run. But whenever you switch down to solo, it becomes less of a difficulty thing and more of a slog to go through the higher difficulties. And although it is fun to achieve victory over top of that's uh, incredible odds, it's not as interesting for a YouTube video. Red Riding Hood here, she has a bit of a rogue kit where she kind of uh, has these twin daggers. Relatively fast attack, no real combo to speak of. And then she has a dash attack, a bomb that can hurt ourselves. A stealth, which I believe that's... So if I open the map, I actually could see everything that I've learned picked up so far and I can see all my talents. So uh, there's a day and night cycle that once we step out of this circle, will start activating. And during the day, we have human form and night will take on a lycanthrope form. And then we have our daggers, which each consecutive attack against an enemy deals a combo point and up to three combo points should be spent. Think Valera or like Rogue from... World of Warcraft, if you're familiar with that. Then we have Switch Swift Strike, which dashes through, spends all combo points. Damage is increased for each combo point, so we want to save that up. The bomb kind of just sits on its own, does a bunch of damage. And then the cloak makes me untangible. Attack, and, uh, attack or power, which I believe are these two. Yep. During this fight, to gain 100% crit chance. So the rhythm you'll see is that we kind of want the cloak. We want to do some daggers, cloak, and then Swift Strike. We get to choose a starting talent. These are random between my options. The... Ooh... This is an explosion is now targets a further location and deals increased damage, or we can do Shadow Strikes, which gives us a 20% crit damage, which we are going to take. We don't have any starting money, but we're going to look at the map down here and find a good location to start. We're going to head straight for this money over here. Let's begin. Our real goal here is to basically get as much money and as experience to get stronger so that we can survive the boss at the end. Oh, this doesn't do friendly fire damage anymore. I just accidentally dashed into my bomb. And it did not hurt me. It used to do friendly fire damage. Oof. It has been a little bit of a minute since I've played Red Riding Hood. We are kind of just just now getting back into this game. I wanted to play her though because she's just a really, really high damage character. And she's very rewarding when played well. But this game is kind of one of those games where you need to be always on. It does not it, it does not take it lightly. So right now, that just drops at my feet. I think whenever I was trying to throw it at the targets, I was remembering a talented version of this. Yeah, we can like one shot enemies if we get the combo right. This is what I'm talking about with this being a powerful character. We're kind of still trying to get into the rhythm here. We're about to go into night form and become a werewolf. Which does waste a few of our seconds. But we got a bunch of werewolf powers, including one that can get us in a lot of trouble because it dashes us around a lot. But we can also roar now instead of our stealth, and our roar allows us to recover HP. The werewolf is kind of like, honestly, if I could play the werewolf at all times, I actually would. The werewolf is very good. It doesn't do as much damage per se, because it doesn't have like the damage combos that uh, Scarlet has, but it's very cool. And the other interesting thing about it that is kind of um, a bit of an interesting design that I actually am quite favorable towards is the fact that Scarlet's female and the wolf is male. Kind of interesting. Defense instantly fills all combat points and lasts one more second or attacks gain an increased range in damage. I believe this over here is one of the places where I need a key. Yes, I think so. We do kind of want to just make sure that we keep moving because uh, money is important, but experience is also very important. We would like to get to 
probably four or five. If we can get to six, I think well, it's either five or six. I'm not remembering super well right now, but we want to at one of those levels, we'll get an ultimate and fighting the first boss without the ultimate is a little rough. If you caught my previous video, we did actually manage to do it for Lydon, but that was mostly because the Lydon's ultimate doesn't actually help with the boss fight too much. Lydon's ultimate lets him use his trade again. Everyone else's ultimate throughout the entire game, to be honest, just does a lot of damage. So they're all very worth doing. We're going to head over here to this healing fountain because in this game, the healing fountain doesn't just heal. It also provides extra HP, max HP. During the new update here, one thing I did want to mention is that if you had kind of bounced off this game before, now is pretty much the time to try it because there's a lot more content in the game. It's very friendly for co-op. It's very, very good game for co-op. But on top of that, they actually made the lower difficulties a lot easier. So it has a little bit of a better onboarding experience because I would say that was probably one of the weaknesses before is that a lot of people found the game to be much too hard in the early difficulties because it was trying really hard for that whole, you know, roguelike thing. Fortunately, we cannot be get, get hit while we're transforming. I don't know where that bomb went. It like chucked itself off into the distance. I'm gonna go ahead and toss that down between all of them. Do some massive damage to those guys. I can get some attack speed. That'd be much appreciated. Ooh, here's the chest. There we go. Let's see, dash deals damage through all enemies past. Shield applied or, or damage to bosses. Eh, we don't actually have the ability to make any shields right now. So we're going to go for the damage to the dash because it means that we will always do damage with the dash even if we don't have a good combo built up. I do believe that the dash always does any damage anyways, but the plus 40 is very good. Oh, the damage went on my dash, not on my power dash. I'm fine with that. Okay, so that does still do friendly fire. I must have just actually dodged it last time. Hello. Goodbye. I don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing for my quest. I just saw myself get a, a get a mark of it, but uh, I, I thought it was based off of my dash and I got a mark for an auto attack. Maybe I misread my quest. Ooh, that was close. There we go. Much, much needed heal. We're going to go ahead and take from this well, probably twice. Attack deals increased damage. Yeah. Turning back into a wolf soon. Good time for it, to be honest, because we'll get uh, more lifesteal. Special gains more charges. My special is my E. Defense is my shift. And we'll go for defense more charges, because in my other form, that means that I get more uses of my stealth. And we're going to immediately get more things here after using a power attack within that three flashes does a flurry damage whenever we activate shift is pretty good because that means that uh we get double benefit from our perk there does time pause when i open my map it does in single player. We're going to read these super fast. So we have claws. Every two consecutive attacks does a combo point. Still have combo points. Bites spends all both combo points and does extra damage. The smash does still just do a smash. And this also gives me attack power. Sorry, attack power, armor and lifesteal. So I do still have combo points in wolf form. Good to know. I don't think I always did. Or maybe I'm just remembering it wrong. So we're still a pretty high damage dealing character, even in, even in wolf form. I would like to find some more objectives, but I'm not having the best of luck here with it. Ooh, 272. Yeah, full combo on that is very nice. We don't really want to do this. This will just make the boss weaker. I would much rather do things that make us stronger than the boss weaker. So ideally we will find other Ooh, here this is a good example but we don't have a key we might we might just leave this one behind then we found two of those key spots 
pretty unfortunate. Try and kill some things as we move. Fortunately, because of my perks, I can break those very quickly. There's a reason I was clearing this, which is because up here looks like there is... Normally these areas up here at least have something in them. So we're going to head up here. Transform back. Still have one full day. Oh, hey, my combo points stay between. Here it comes. Danger. What danger? Looks like it's just going to be a raven, but the thing is that I actually don't mind that this is a raven because it also gives us a pretty hefty chunk of experience. And it looks like there's a chest there. We're going to go straight for the chest. And then after the chest, we'll hit that healing and that healing, and then maybe go for that other chest over there. The healing would give me maximum HP, which I could sorely use. Very nice. Very fast clear. After taking damage, we gain crit. Power deals plus 20% damage. We'll go ahead and do the power does more damage. Come down here to this healing fountain, which we walked right past and did not identify in the map. It's good to know that you can get that freaking close to them and not actually see them. Yes, we have one day left. We're aware. Oh, I wanted to check this real quick. So, attack or power triggered during defense against bloodless crit for enemy hit. Okay. We're going to head over here to this other fountain. And then we'll swoop around and head up towards... We'll head up towards that chest up there. Yeah, look at how crazy amounts of damage we can pull off with a, with a good combo. That just the rhythm of this character is actually one of my favorites, and I always wanted to get good at them, because. but whenever I was playing, my friend always played this character, so I never really got a lot of chances. There's a key. We pick another talent. That's some combo points increased by two. Uh, but we're going to go for the defense one because instantly refilling all of our combo points means that we can fill our combo points, release, use defense, and then do it again. The transformation actually caught me off guard that one. So it looks like there's a chest up here as well. We'll head up to this one because it's closer. We have three-fourths of a day left. Things are going very well, though. I would actually argue that they're going much better than whenever we did an Aladdin run. Come on, break it open. Just barely getting out of the way by using my ability to dodge there. That was a pretty hard crowd. We get out with relative ease, to be honest. Not sure if I made the right choice with the defense giving me full combo points. Critical health, you gain regen, dash cooldown. Dash cooldown. Yes, dash cooldown is very good in this game. We're going to see if we can head up to this other red chest. Not sure where the entrance to it is. Look at how much damage that does. Amazing.
And now that we actually... Now, now that we're using it in a more intelligent way, to be honest... This is actually quite good, because it means that we can not worry about auto-attacking nearly as much. Wasn't able to get out of that one. Ah, we have more enemies. Come on. Clear out before the sun comes up. Please. I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to get it. Defense gets another charge. Even more dash cooldown. I'm going to take it again. And then we are going to head back to town and see if we can upgrade anything in the last minute. Then we'll kind of just fuck around and, and kill some enemies. Oh, come on. I don't need this right now. Let's see. That's more crit power. Attack steal more damage. More damage on the defense. I think we'll look for... Yeah, I think I'll take armor here. And then we'll just see if we can find some more money. Money and experience. We only have about 40 seconds, so we're probably not going to get a level. Watch out. But we might actually get a, quite a bit of experience from this, actually. Nice. Break this first, because this is more important. Yeah, honestly, I am very much liking the uh, full combo points on the uh, special there. It's actually quite good. Okay, time for the first boss. This shouldn't be too hard. So we have to kill his tentacles first. dodge all the attacks that he's going to be sending out. I might position in such a way to try and hit the center body a little bit as well, whenever possible. But not actually all that important, to be honest. all of these. Get back in there. We have very good damage for this. I am very happy with how this run has turned out. Am I good or am I good? Unfortunately, stud myself right at the end there. And we transform during the phase. That's really unfortunate. That dash cooldown basically just saved our life there. We are larger now, so we need to be careful of that. Head over here to take out this one. We are farther in the fight now, so he will not be dropping as much healing anymore. I think that was just a lucky one. Again, with the dash cooldown, saving our butt. Come on. Can we get the damage in before he gets back up? We can. Beautiful. And we melt the first boss. Very little issue. There's going to be a bit of a... Yep, so we can save and quit or continue. We're going to go ahead and continue on to the Storm Island. I'll meet you whenever we get there. Welcome back. Now we're on Storm Island. We actually got a level up from, from uh, killing the boss. We'll go, go ahead and take our ultimate. 
Hunter Souvenir slash Gusting Roar. While in human form, we shoot a shotgun, healing damage in a wide area, wide area has two charges, and as a werewolf, deal continuous damage in a wide cone for three seconds. That will do the job. We'll go ahead and check the shop just to see what we have. No silver bullets. That's really unfortunate. I would very much like have light silver bullets. We will go for 75 money for the crit chance, though. The whetstone. So we want 150 for that. So we'll head to this money down here first. Oh, our key from last time transferred over. That is a very important thing to know. I was not aware that the keys would, would uh, stick with you. So we do need to remember that we do have our ultimates and that we have like 17 minutes before how long is the cooldown? Well, tell me. Take this. Looks pretty considerable. But we do have a long time before the boss will show up. So we need to not be afraid to use it. Looks like it's somewhere in the 80 second cooldown range, maybe? Loving the design and the music of the second area, though. Transforming in the middle of a fight again. Oh, look at that. It gave us our ultimate back right away. So we actually want to use our ultimate all the time. That is actually pretty cool. I didn't expect us expect, expect it to reset to my ultimate cooldown. We do have enough money, so we're going to head back super fast and grab the crit chance of crit damage because it'll just help us clear faster. And getting uh, power right now is always just kind of a very good thing to do. We'll go ahead and grab those. We also can upgrade our perks. I would say out of all of the perks that we've gotten, I'm not really sure what we would want to upgrade, to be honest. We'll have to take a look at that later. Go ahead and bite this guy while he's on the ground. Stomp this guy. They're kind of sleeping, so I'm, I am actually going to wake them up just so that they get closer to each other. And go ahead and use our ultimate on this elite, because I don't really see a lot of reason to hold on to our ultimate right now. We got a healing fountain here and some more money. Healing Fountain brings us up to 205 maximum health, which is nearly double. I think just over double what we had to start. It's a good deal. And I think we are going to head for this book over here. Some sort of lightning gin. Seems like there's a lot of gin around here. Kind of a bit of a Persian theme to this place that I am a huge fan of. Out of all the characters in this game, aesthetically and like storyline wise Aladdin's my favorite he is a little hard to play though he is more of a uh, a party play kind of character he he allows for a very strong start but he himself has a lot of mechanics that are kind of difficult to make good use of I'm not saying he's a bad character not even close one of my favorites but he is kind of a difficult character we're going to head, go, go ahead and do this book. I think it has a one minute time limit. We're going to ultimate it, which is why we were saving it for a few seconds there. And 
ahead and instantly clear the book. Improve a talent two times. Gain a bunch of sh uh, shards. We're going to go for the talent two times. So that improved aggressive defense and shadow cypress. Very good. I do wish that there was like a version of this character that said, hey, we get to stay in one form or, or another. Because I would kind of like a version of this character that is just Scarlet. Or a version of this character that is just the wolf. And even if that was like an ultimate talent that lets you do that, that'd be really cool. If you're using a power, your net's attack within three seconds delivers a flurry. It's also higher level already. I like the cleave, I think. We're going to use this key to get in here. I actually already know what's in here because I was watching some other YouTubers play this and there is a bit of a, a crab boss in here and I kind of like to see how this character handles it. Wow, that does a lot of damage whenever that goes off. I made a good choice. Very good choice. Go ahead and open this. We should have like an epic chest of some regard at the end of this place. It's actually really shocking to me how much that changed my DPS to have those little swirlies. That is, that is a big deal. A little bit of healing here. Should be nighttime soon. Yeah. So we're gonna wait a second. Mm, no, we're actually gonna let the transform happen mid-fight. Get some damage out with this first. Ah! Oh, I walked into the bubble. That's unfortunate. And we transform. While it's down, we'll ultimate it for the kill. Very nice. And we get plus 10 for each legendary talent you have. Full heal at the start of each day. Or damage taken within one second cannot exceed 30% of your mass HP. Um, we'll take the Excalibur. Then I'm going to go back and try and make more talents legendary. So I think I only have one legendary talent right now. Yeah. The only legendary talent I have is the ultimate, so that it's only just plus 10 damage. So we're going to go ahead and get cleave up to legendary as well. I believe that's legendary now, right? Oh, it's also still in the epic. Okay. How much does it take for me to get that to legendary? Cleave would be 200 to get to legendary. Okay. We know what we're going for now. I'm not sure what this symbol over here is. I thought it was the thing that makes the boss weaker, but that's the thing that makes the boss weaker. So I'm not sure what this symbol is. So we're going to head towards it. Just barely killed that guy before it went off. Yeah, what? Oh, this is. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We need to leave. That's the final boss. I almost activated the final boss early. Could have been bad. Okay. We do want experience, yes. But more importantly in the experience, we kind of want money. That 
hurt. Go ahead and uh, we can't activate the book in combat. At least I suck a little bit. Jeez. That was a little bit of a waste, but it's almost daytime, so we're going to get our other ultimate back in a second anyways. Now we're going to take this book. If we get offered, we're going to take the shards to make another legendary. So many elemental effects, holy crap. We missed everyone with that because all of our targets like dodged and did various stuff like that just as we activated it. But we still got this in time. Even while transforming in the middle of it. Okay. A random talent four times. Ah, uh, that was worth it because it actually got more things than if we had just grabbed money. Special now causes a night after use of power. We'll take the slash flurry now because I don't really use my special that much. That's the E. I mean, we use it off of cooldown, but we haven't taken anything that buffs it. Oh, I see how this works. Might have actually been a little bit of an anti synergy to me because I can't activate my spin while that's going. Still a lot of damage, though. It's a lot, a lot of damage. We will head this way. We have one day left. I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Head up here to get some more money. For the eventual goal of getting more traits to legendary. That was very scary. We'll go ahead and head back, to be honest. Ah, oh, I didn't grab the money. Shiza. Go grab that money real quick. It is nighttime, so we're probably going to transform. Yep. But that's okay. We're pretty hurt. So this is a good time to transform, all things considered. Yeah, realistically speaking, this was still a good upgrade because while we're in wolf form, we can get a lot of life steal off of that flurry of blows. Yeah, I had broken a bunch of crystals over here, so I thought I had broken all the crystals. That is my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. If 280, should be able to take one of these perks back up. Cool. I'm only take it to epic but we'll go ahead and grab that once and that once as well or twice i know it probably would have been better to take more things up to legendary 
for the Excalibur. But with the amount of money we had, I didn't think it was going to happen. So I just went for the most power I can get right now. Yeah, Wolf Form is really strong now. We win this and people seem interested. We might do other runs with the other characters as well. I am definitely try uh, excited to try out like Melusine and stuff like that. Uh, Melusine is kind of like a, uh, a mobile living turret kind of character. She's a very interesting design. I've never really seen anything quite like her in another game. Man, the extra power that this character gains. While in the berserk form here, it's really noticeable. Okay, we're going to head up here. Let's see if we can get just a little bit more money. Hopefully without dying. Even barring money, we did manage to uh, finish off our last level, it looks like. We are max level now. So the new max level is 8. Very good to know. We should be able to finish this fight no problem. Even accidentally transforming. Pick our last talents. Human, our special no longer affects Scarlet. No, we don't want to do that. Special recharges faster in both forms. Actually, sure. You know what? And then we're going to head back and spend the last of our money. We have 200. We might be able to get one more thing to Epic. If we do, it's probably going to be the Flurry of Blows. I've actually, I've actually going to like it. Yes. So we got one last thing to Epic. And there's not a lot of reason to keep continuing to adventure, but we only have 50 seconds left. Might as well. Looks like with the new balance of ESP changes, it is pretty easy to hit max level before the final boss, which means that in the current balance of things, if you're as long as you're doing well, there isn't a lot of purpose to grabbing those things that, like, say, you get bonus experience, for example. Honestly, I might as well just back off. I don't want to risk taking a bunch of damage literally right before a boss fight that I've never seen before. Ooh, I like the music though. Let me add them. Looks like yet again, some sort of Cthulian beast. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's an attack. To be honest, didn't notice it was an attack for a bit there. I thought he was just moving. Okay, so we need to back off. Wow. Okay. Jeez, um. I would kind of like to be a wolf soon.
little bit of healing is much appreciated. Ah, uh, looks like getting rid of all those giants stuns him, which means that, of course, perfect timing. We unfortunately get forced into wolf form. And we finish him off as a wolf. Well, that's both boxes and Raven Watch. The game is honestly th turning out really, really well. I really like it. It just feels so good to play. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and please let me know if you want to see more of this. I will be happy to play more. So we'll be on lots real quick. We now have a double strike talent that we can pick. We have Pulverize. And we also got some new objects. Reduce power cooldown and damage while full health. Very nice. I like that it's rolled a lot of support. I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.